live from Cork, Ireland, here on GodIsAGeek.com, on the 14th of February of 2014. Fantastic! I'm coming to you live on location. It's a special event. It is indeed the 14th of February. It's I said that month very peculiarly. Valentine's Day! Hooray! Where love is in the air and, you know, it's couples and beautiful. It's just such a marvellous time of the year. It's not a Hallmark holiday at all. There is nothing commercial about Valentine's Day. It's just all about flowers and chocolates and nice things. And it's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. But I'm sure we'll get onto that later on the show. Because News Round, for those that don't know, um, and I suppose actually I should say, it is a little bit darker. It is a bit darker. We're, I'm just trying to set a mood, you know. Like, hang on two seconds. Let's look. Can you feel the love tonight? Apparently not, because the light just went out. Um, the News Round, basically, is a, a video show for about a half an hour, where I, Colm Ahern, take you through the video game news of the past couple of days. You know, to keep you up to date, to keep you informed, and to keep you in the know. And, on today's show, you know the things while I bring out my magic piece of paper, and rustle it around and stuff, so I can... Kind of just rustle and things and what's on today's show? Well, I will tell you what's on today's show. These are the things that's on today's show. Uh, Mario Kart. There was a Nintendo Direct and Mario Kart is a re like proper release date now and things like that. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. Um, also on today's show, let me see here. Um, what else is on? Did you know we could way kind of similar to Mario Kart? We know Halo 2, well, we didn't know for a fact, but it, apparently there's more concrete evidence that it is going to be coming out this year. Huzzah! And also, as well, what else is on today's show? Well, I will tell you now. What else is here? What else is here? What else is on this magic piece of paper? Do you know what? It was a good idea. It was a good idea. However, Steam Tags... <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to talking about them in... Because, for all of that, first, uh, we must have a look at uh, a story uh, courtesy of us, <laughs> actually. Um, the Evil Within. Do you know that game from, uh, what's his face? Uh, what's his name? Shinji Mikami? That's his name. Well, it has a release date. Uh, it's going to be coming on the... 26th of August in North America and the 27th of August in Europe. Um, which is, you know, that isn't that, that's just great, isn't it? It's just absolutely fucking marvellous. Um, a lot of people are looking forward to it. And, you know, it seems very apt to start off the Valentine's Day edition of News Round on some horror, scary story. Ooh, because you know, a lot of couples tonight are going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, I'm going to link every fucking story into Valentine's Day. You watch me, you bastard. So, you know, couples are going to be uh, snuggling up on the couch and watching The Exorcist or something like that. Do you know what? They might watch, David, they have the option to watch a romantic comedy, maybe with Matthew McConaughey of Dallas Buyers Club, maybe something, do you know, from his past days, like that thing he did with Jennifer Aniston, where they played a card game called Bullshit. Can't remember the name of it. Was that Jennifer Aniston? Might have been. I'm not too sure. But yeah, people will be snuggling up to play or to watch horror thing. Maybe in August people will be snuggling up to watch the evil within. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, our next news story is uh, all about motion gaming. Hmm. Uh, because Connect Sports rivals. Well, it has a date. Uh, it's going to be coming to Xbox One on the. 8th of April in North America and the 11th of April in Europe. 
Um, Connect Sports Rivals, obviously, like, I mean, you're probably aware of the original Connect Sports Rivals, which was actually quite good. Actually, actually all right. Now, it, Microsoft kind of missed the boat on the whole motion gaming thing. Like, Sony Sony missed it as well, like both of them did. Uh, but, um, I don't know, the Connect Sports Rivals would probably be decent. And, of course, it is Valentine's Day, so maybe a couple of, a couple of, um, a couple of couples. Uh, we'll be kind of getting active together in some ways tonight. I will leave that one there. Uh, our next new story is courtesy of Kotaku. And fucking yes. Yes. Because this is the thing I referenced earlier, Steam Tags. So, Steam Tags, for those that don't know, it's a great idea. It genuinely is a great idea. It's all through the community. People can just tag games with what they want, but I, I believe they have to actually own them. So, um, like, if you're looking for things that are maybe more descriptive rather than, say, like, just, you know, first-person shooter or blah, blah, like if you had ghosts, for instance, maybe it might be war is a tag. Or if you had, I don't know, Halo, it might be aliens or that, that type of kind of deal. Well, people have ran with this and um, obviously some tags are pretty kind of are actually pretty decent and we give you a, a general gist of what to kind of expect when you play the game. However, some tags actually are very, very funny. For instance, my favourite is not a game. Uh, and in the not a game tag, and this is coming from someone who loves the games that I'm about to mention. Well, some of them, because not the arrestor. But in the not a game tag, you have the arrestor, of course. You have Gone Home, one of my favorite games last year, but still, not a game. It's, it's just funny because of all the shit about it. No, it's not a game. Ah, uh, what else is in there? Uh, I think I think, I think like the Stanley Parable, Proteus. Do, do you know what else is in the not a game uh, tag? Saints Row 4, that's very funny, you know, I love Saints Row 4, but it's just, people are just taking the absolute piss out of Steam tags, and I'm sure it's either Valve are going to have to eventually kind of vet it in some ways, or there will actually be, there will be a case of them just saying, look, you abused it lads, fuck off. Like a lot of copies tonight, I mean, if you are... Maybe you're watching this and you're kind of going, shit, it, was, it is Valentine's Day. Oh, fuck. I forgot to get herself flowers. Shit, see, you're, you're abusing the situation. Like, it's a Hallmark holiday, but still, just get the flowers. Just get the flowers. Don't abuse it. Now, our next news story uh, comes courtesy of CVG, and it's all kind of staying down the steam route of things. Do you know that game I've mentioned a couple of times? Probably, because it's very popular and people people enjoy it quite a lot. Just like all of the early access games. Anyway, Rust. Right? Rust uh, is potentially going to be coming to Shiny Gen. Uh, on Twitter, um, the developer, uh, Gary Newman, uh, also of Gary's Mod and whatnot, uh, he was, uh, or he, he said that uh, there is a possibility that it will come to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, he said, quote, neither have an early access program, uh, so as, uh, neither have an early access program as far as I know. He's a fan of the old acronyms, apparently. Uh, so anything we do is a while off. Um, like, I suppose hinting at the fact that there is a possibility that we might see it eventually come to to the current generation of consoles, the eighth generation of consoles, which I'm sure a lot of people would be very very happy about, uh, because Rust is it Rust has sold seven hundred fifty thousand, or is it up to eight hundred fifty thousand now? Basically, anyway, like ever since it came out, it has been number two to Daisy's number one, which is a fantastic position for. For us to be in, but this is Valentine's Day, and you don't want to make anyone your number two. 
So make sure whoever you are, maybe taking out for dinner tonight or cooking for them or, you know, being romantic in any way, just make sure you make them your daily. Uh, our next news story comes courtesy of, <coughs> excuse me, uh, IGN. And <laughs> this is, what the fuck kind of, this is, okay. So, I don't know, I suppose about maybe two weeks ago, I think I spoke about this, how uh, the the composer of Resident Evil and Animusha Warlords, the composer of the music for that, Mam Mamoru Samaru Gachi, uh, Samaru, Samaru Gachi, I'm going to go with, uh, well, basically, like, it came out, first of all, it came out that he was deaf, and that all of his music had been ghostwritten, and now... Uh, in an interview with the New York Times, he said he, he said this about his hearing, quote, It has recover, recovered to the level where I can sometimes grasp words when someone speaks clearly and slowly close to my ears, though the sounds are still muffled and skewed. Now, moving on from that, uh, the guy who ghost wrote the, the music of, uh, of the, the previous games I mentioned and many of of Sabrugachi's uh, well-known works, Takashi Nigaki. Well, he said in an interview, or sorry, he was in a press conference, uh, he said, quote, I've never felt he was deaf ever since we met. Back in 99, I think they met. We carry on normal conversations. I don't think he is handicapped. At first, he acted to me, or at first he acted to me also as if he had suffered hearing loss. But he he stopped doing so eventually. This is certainly one of the more peculiar stories uh, that we will be talking about in today's edition of Newsround. The fact that the man, well, I suppose worst of all, he was posing as the composer for these games when he he wasn't. He did not deserve that credit, and people were praising him because of the fuck. This man is sorry, camera. This man is deaf. He's composing these wonderful works of art. No, 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 he, he wasn't. He was deaf. But was he? Because now he's saying, oh, yeah, it actually, uh, my hearing came back there a little bit ago. See, no matter what you do, if you tell a fib, you will get caught out. And it is Valentine's Day, so, like, be honest with your partner. I fucking hate that word, actually. So, strike that from the record. Be honest with your wife, slash husband, slash spouse of any kind, or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, because you will get caught out, so make sure you tell the truth all of the time. Our next news story comes courtesy of Eurogamer, and it's all about um, just the Candy Crush shit, because basically this past week, or well since I did the last show, Candy Swipe developer, yes, do you know what Candy Swipe is? Well, because I hold my hands up, I didn't know what Candy Swipe is was or is or whatnot. But basically it was a game that came out in twenty ten uh from developer uh Ransom and uh the the founder of Ransom, Albert Ransom, uh which is a great Mel Gibson film, uh he kind of posted this open letter to King and he kind of posted a couple of images of how how similar the the apps are. As you can see there um I mean, the the app icon themselves is very similar. They kind of like it's the same. It's a match match three kind of game, and like the kind of the icons within the game are similar. Even the sweet, look how similar that is. Um, so yeah, he kind of basically he goes on to uh, say, and if I can find the quote, I probably won't know because it's quite a long thing. Uh, but he kind of goes on to say that King have taken food from his family's mouths and his own mouth and he's quite upset about it. Understandably enough, no King haven't King haven't issued any sort of statement on this. They're kind of keeping shtum. And uh, like all of this all of this kind of um, running after trademarks and kind of running after like uh, the banner saga and and kind of saying, right, the words candy and, and saga and whatnot, they're they're ours now. So anyone else go fuck yourselves. Um, this is really starting to kind of bite them on the ass. Um, so it is Valentine's Day, and I feel like I I, I need to say this: like, never push the issue. If you have a good thing going, 
and like you kind of basically the grass isn't always greener. Like if you if you have a tenor and you see kind of you're, you're walking past a betting shop and you see kind of you know I don't know so you you see the odds for a match and you're kind of going, Geez, I could double my money here. This is two to one. That's, that's, that's an absolute banker. I'm going to put a tenner on this. Could lose it. Now, Kenny Cross, I'm a lost king. I'm a lost fuck all. But still, you, you don't push the issue. Maybe, maybe your other half is cooking. Or, or maybe you're getting a Chinese with your other half. Yeah, this, this analogy works. Maybe you're getting a Chinese with your other half. And you're kind of going, oh, why don't they cook for me? Maybe that Chinese is going to be the best meal of your life. Don't push the issue. A little bit of a sketchy one, but I still made it work. Uh, our next news story comes courtesy of videogamer.com, and it's all about Angry Birds. Yep, Angry Birds. Uh, because there is this thing. What? I, 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 don't, I don't really know what this is, to be honest. But Angry Birds Stella has been announced by Rovio. And Angry Birds Stella is uh, this new property, and there's going to be like games, animations, books, toys, and other stuff, as Video Gamer reports. There is no explanation as to what Angry Birds Stella will actually be, other than the fact that it is this kind of new offshoot of Angry Birds, where Stella and a group of new birds are going to be kind of, I don't know, getting up to fun and frolics, I suppose. And it is Valentine's Day. So maybe your other half is called Stella. Our next news story comes courtesy of Polygon, and it's all about... Um, some of their more recently uh, recently acquired IP, such as Darksiders and Red Faction, because uh, listings went up on Amazon and on Nordic Games' official website for compilations of said series, Darksiders Complete and Red Faction Collection. Um, the both of them have a release date of the 14th of March for PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, with the Darksiders, with our Darksiders Complete, as the collection is called, uh, having the original and the the sequel, uh, there's no mention of the actual DLC or not. And the Red Faction collection states that it will have the original Red Faction, Red Faction Gorilla, and Red Faction Armageddon, along with the DLC, which is good to see that they are going to be doing something with those kind of with those IPs because I think. More so than Red Faction, Darksiders certainly has a, a, a bit of legs to it. Now, I quite enjoyed Darksiders 1 and 2. Uh, I came across a game rating bug in 2, which was a little bit upsetting, and I wasn't able to progress any further. Uh, but, like, uh, it, it's still it's a great game. I uh, never played any of the Red Faction games, to be honest with you. But still, it is good to see that they're doing something with uh, with their recently acquired IP, and it is Valentine's Day, so if you've recently acquired um, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or something, you know, you're still in that honeymoon period, and it's kind of all exciting and stuff, Valentine's Day, is, it, it, it's kind of a bit of sticky wicket. How do you approach it? Uh, do, uh, do I get him a gift? Do I not? I'll tell you out straight. I think you're, I think you're better off to get them a gift. To get them something small. No, if you, if it's only kind of going on a week or something, I mean, you'll probably just be going to the cinema to see the new Lego film movie. Um, so like, if you turn up with a fucking bouquet of flowers to the cinema, you're gonna look like an absolute tit. So don't do that. Don't do that. But if maybe if maybe this is going on a month or two. I mean, you kind of something small, a little gesture would be nice. Uh, our next news story comes courtesy of us again, uh, and this is actually fucking cool. Um, Castlevania: Lord of Shadow 2, it's out relatively soon, and on PS3, if you pre-order Lord of Shadow 2, uh, you, well, I suppose I should say on PSN specifically, you will get a free download of Mirror Fate HD. Um, I'm not sure of how much it will be on PSN, and that could be a deciding factor because. Traditionally, PSN games are a little bit dearer than their retail counterparts. So if that's the case, I don't really see anyone doing it. But it's the same price, and you get Mirror Fate HD free. That's that's kind of good. And it is Valentine's Day. So, um, impress. If you're going out for a meal, 
don't necessarily don't necessarily just go for the two for one deal. You know? That kind of goes against all of my thinking, because I'm very frugal. But I'm trying to link all of them into Valentine's Day. Anyway, our next news story is about Dive Kick. Um Dive Kick, it's a fucking cool game actually if you haven't played it. Uh, well, basically, it was already known that it was coming to uh, Shiny Gen. Um, well, it will be doing so in the form of Dive Kick Edition. Dive Kick Edition Edition, which is a great name, anyway, first of all. And uh, uh, Dive Kick Edition Edition will have at least one new character. Um, it will also have a few balance changes, bug fixes, and character tweaks also. Uh, there's no concrete release date for the game just yet, but um, uh, Edition Edition will be coming to uh, PS3, 360, um, PS4, and Xbox One, and PC as well, which is great. Uh, and it is Valentine's Day, so don't dive kick your other half in the face. It's gonna work. Uh, Battlefield 4, right? So we're going to start releasing DLC first. Uh, because Second Assault uh, ha now has a release date. Uh, previously, I believe, I want to say, this came out on Xbox One. It was an exclusive. Um, so, yeah, so this is courtesy of IGN, and uh, the release date has been confirmed for February 18th on PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and PC. Of course, Battlefield was, it was in a spot of bother uh, because they kind of they put back all of the, the, the DLC to... Kind of fix the few bugs that the game was having, which even though EA in a lot of hot water a lot of time, granted in many cases, this was actually kind of a good move by them. And it is Valentine's Day, so maybe maybe you're in a bit of hot water with your other half. Maybe maybe you had an argument today because you woke up and there was no mention of Valentine's Day. Then you kind of went about your we went about your day. You went to work. Then you could have walked in the door and maybe somebody wished, maybe a colleague wished you Valentine's Day, either ironically or not. And upon doing so, that tweaked something in your mind. You went, oh, fuck it. I forgot to get flowers. I forgot to get chocolates. I forgot to get a card. I forgot to even say Valent Happy Valentine's Day. Wouldn't be useless just walking up to somebody and just saying Valentine's Day. Um, so, fuck it. I get to, I totally, where was I going with this? Um... Yeah, so like you can fix it. You can just like as EA were doing with Battlefield 4, you can just do it quickly. Okay, yeah. Uh, our next news story comes courtesy of Polygon, and uh, this um, is do you know what? It's kind of sad actually, to be honest, because shows you even though everyone knows the, the Windows have just fallen so so much in terms of video games. Um, so, Jason Holman, who uh, was previously the director of business development at Valve, uh, well, he came to Microsoft six months ago, and he said that he was going to focus on, quote, making Windows a great platform for gaming and interactive entertainment, end quote. Now he has left. Um, and Microsoft spokesperson said, quote, we can confirm that Jason has left Microsoft and we're grateful for his time at the company. We wish him the best in his future endeavors. Uh, of course, giving no insight as to as to whether the breakup was um, was a nice one or or a nasty one, and it is Valentine's Day, so I mean there are a lot of loved ones or a lot of people out there who maybe you're feeling a bit down because maybe you recently went through a breakup. But all I can all I can say is I sincerely hope it wasn't a nasty one, uh, just like I hope that Holton's, um Break up with with Microsoft wasn't a nasty one either because it's just it's just a, it's a horrible it's a horrible position to be in. Uh, our next news story comes courtesy of VG247 and it's all about Halo 2, the anniversary edition thing, which is meant to be coming out this year. Uh, well, Steve Downs, who is the voice actor for Master Chief, he spoke with GameZone and he said he well he was he was clearly asked something about Halo 5 and Steve Downs said quote I think you may be ahead of yourself on Halo 5. I wouldn't expect anything until 2015. What you can look forward to this year is an anniversary edition of Halo 2. That is cut and dry. No, th th there is no kind of tease about that at all from Mr. Downs. It's just like, ah, hang on now. Halo 5 is next year. But don't worry, Halo 2 is this year. 
the Microsoft haven't said anything yet. This all obviously is kind of, um, I suppose, a follow-up to to the NeoGAF kind of leak that leak uh, that week. Um, was it last week or the week before? When some fella on NeoGAF just said like, "Crackdown, Halo 2, new Xbox," and just was rattling out information at a ferocious rate. Um, so just obviously a kind of a, a follow-up on that. Uh, but it, I suppose it just shows you that, like Steve Jones, and it is Valentine's Day, you have to be careful what you say. Does my bum look big in this? Does, I don't know, do, does this, this cool men's t-shirt from New Look, does this, uh, is this slimming? Because of course, no, no matter who you are, you, you don't want to be told that you look horrible in something. You want to be told you look nice. I've no fucking idea where I'm going with this. I'm going to try and make it work. So, I suppose you have to ask yourself then: If you lie, will you will you get in hot water? If you or if you tell the truth, will you get in hot water? I mean, see here, Steve Jones has has what we can only hazard a guess. He has told the truth, but will he be in hot water with Microsoft? Does my bum look big in this? Said Microsoft, and Steve Jones said, "Yes, it does. It looks fucking massive." Our, our next news story, yeah, a poor one now. Our next news story comes courtesy of us, uh, because there was a Nintendo Direct uh, with loads of news from it, uh, just tons of it, such as uh, release dates for a lot of 3DS games. Uh, for instance, Inazuma 11.3, well, that's out now. Uh, Weapon Shop de Omasi, which is cool. Uh, that's coming out on the 20th of February. Pokemon Link Battle is coming out on the 13th. Yoshi's New Island on the 14th of March. Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, 28th of March. Nintendo Pocket Football Club, 17th of April. Etrian Odyssey, The Millennium Girl, 2nd of May. Mario Golf World Tour, 2nd of May. Kirby Trouble Deluxe, 16th of May. And Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, early 2015. Now, a lot of these games you kind of already know about. But I want, that's why I want to talk about Weapon Shop de Omasi. I think I'm just going to shoot at that being the title of it. That sounds like a fucking cool game. It's kind of like where you you work in a shop and you sell weapons to kind of like adventurers. I don't know, whatever. Just basically, you're you're the shopkeeper in Final Fantasy or whatever, and you're kind of you know. And I'm just giving you a hypothetical, by the way. That is not the game. And you kind of sell weapons to to adventurers, which is kind of cool. Like sometimes, sometimes it's interesting to be out in the periphery, you know, to to watch from the sidelines. And it is Valentine's Day. But if, so, I think if you're watching from the sidelines, Valentine's Day, it, it, it's not a great time to watch from the sidelines. You want to be on the, or in the trenches. You want to be there hand in hand with the person that you love. You don't want kind of a, you, a case of unrequented love. Because there is no harsher kind. I will tell you that much. Our next news story, and finally... Uh, here on today's edition of News Round, uh, it was previously kind of pretty well known that Mario Kart was coming out uh, in May. However, we have a concrete release date. Nintendo have nailed their whatever release date to the mast. What is that phrase? Fucking whatever it is. Anyway, it's coming on the 30th of May. Um, which is good because Nintendo needs new things. Uh, there was some new characters added to the game, such as all of the Koopalings. They are all playable. Um, so that's kind of cool. And also there was a new trailer as well. To be honest with you, the last couple of days have been quite quite quiet uh, in terms of news. Um, but, it's yeah, Mario Kart is a release date, which is fantastic. It's good that they have uh, just kind of basically set it in stone now. And hopefully, I mean, it's, it is Valentine's Day, so hopefully if you're kind of going up with somebody tonight that you're dating and all of it, as I said earlier, that you're in that honeymoon period, and, but you want to kind of take it to the next level. You want to you wanna kind of make it official and say, yes, we are in a relationship. I want to show, I want to shout from the rooftops about my love for this person here. So hopefully, hopefully that can happen for you tonight. And hopefully you can kind of Basically, I don't know, come to the, that agreement, because I can't think of another word, uh, between the two of you and go, yes, we want to make this official. We want to have 
the our thirtieth of May release date set in stone. You. And thus ends another edition of News Round here on GodsGate.com. A very special, wonderful, beautiful, loving, gorgeous, stunning, lovely edition of News Round. And it is Friday. It's not only Valentine's Day, it's Friday as well. And Fridays, by proxy, are special episodes. They are because it's our musical our musical episode. Now, can I bring that down in the spot? So whatever. So uh, I was thinking. Uh, because some people, some people, they're, they're not in relationships, and yeah, it's a hard time for everyone. That reminded me of uh, a scene from Friends. Remember when Ross and Rachel, uh, they they were fighting. I think it was their first kind of big fight. I can't remember what it was over. It wasn't when they were on a break. Was it? Oh shit, was it? It fucking was, I think. It was when they were on a break, and they're sitting by the window, and it's raining, and they're waiting for a phone call, and you're, it's just such a touching, touching piece of television. So this this one is dedicated to um to all the people out there who, who don't have a loved one tonight who will be spending their Valentine's watching going to the cinema alone and watching the Lego movie. So oh, I think I explained this to me. I, w I was kind of too busy just talking about YouTube's with or without you. Um. So basically, yeah, on a Friday, just, just kind of just because, really, but I play out the outro. It kind of makes it more difficult for me and kind of hopefully more entertaining for you. So once again, thank you very much for watching this edition of Newsround here on GodIsAGeek.com. I am Colin Ahern, and if you so wish, you can follow me on Twitter. That would be just wonderful. My username is at column underscore or her. That's C-O-L-M-A-H-E-R-N. And of course, the big lad, I'm not sure if he has a date, because the Catholic Church probably wouldn't be into it, but God is also on Twitter. Or, well, the geeky version at least. You can find him on Twitter, at God is a geek. And on Facebook.com, forward slash God is a geek. And how you are currently consuming this media, it's a video, because technology has reached that stage. It's mesmerizing, I must say. Well, you're probably watching this on YouTube.com forward slash God is a geek. And there are a couple of things you can do on this video alone. You can like this video, you can leave a comment, and you can subscribe to the God is a Geek YouTube channel as well, because there'll be a subscribe button somewhere around my face. Maybe there, maybe down there, maybe over there, maybe over there, or somewhere right smack bang in this fucking stunning face. And if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, I promise you, your life will be enlightened because you'll never miss a news round, you'll never miss a let's play, you'll never miss a retrocast, you'll never miss a dirt sheet, you'll never miss any of the copious amount of video content that we put up all of the time. So do that, because it's an ongoing project, and God is a geek. And look! sure if you are going out with a loved one or friends or anything this weekend go on drink be merry have a whale of a time i'm sure i'm sure you will it's, a, it's just going to be absolutely beautiful isn't it yeah it is but do look after one another and look as well if you're dating somebody you're trying to make an impression don't get absolutely shit faced you might say something that you'll regret later on so try and refrain from that. It might come back to bite you on the arse. But look after one another, as I always say. I will fucking worry about you, lads. I do, I do. So do, just yeah, look after one another and make sure you get home safe. Thank you very much for watching this edition of News Round. Um, on the 14th, I don't know why I looked down. I know I've been talking all day about fucking it being Valentine's Day. So yeah, um, 
thanks very much for watching. I'll be back on Monday, the 17th of February. No, fuck, I didn't want to choose that. Uh, Tuesday, the, 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 the 18th of February, to enlighten you about more news stories and stuff. I know we were later as well today. Sorry. That's all I have to say, really, to be honest. We were suffering from technical difficulties. So, um, that kind of does it. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I have been caught up her. This has been News Road, and you... than today when I tell you you're beautiful. Because you are. Believe me. You are beautiful. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.